Hi everybody, I'm Rebecca Keppel. I'm super excited to be on ThermaWeb's YouTube channel today. We have a fun swap between Picket Fence and My Sweet Petunia with ThermaWeb, and I have four different cards to share with you. Each has some multi-colored stamping and some fun backgrounds made with either metallics or foils and uh, the stencil from Picket Fence. So these are the Picket Fence products that I'm going to be using. I have some stamps, a die, a stencil. I also have some cardstock from Gina K Designs and the ThermaWeb Metallics. This is the Pixie Spray. I'm going to spray just a little bit of that on the back of the stencil. That will just temporarily adhere it to my cardstock so it doesn't move around and I can get a really great application of the metallics over that stencil when it's not sliding around. I'm going to take my palette knife and put some of the white pearl metallics on the edge of the stencil pal and then I'm going to apply it to the stencil. The stencil pal is great because it's large enough to really stretch across an entire card front making the application of whatever medium you're using nice and smooth and even and it doesn't take a lot of work to get it over the entire stencil. So I am just going to make sure that all the little holes the stencil are all covered up. I am not worrying about the corners because I'm going to cut this down to make my background element. But look at how beautiful that looks. You don't get any sliding around of the stencil because of the pixie spray. The pixie spray is great because it lasts more than one application. So I was able to just put it on a new piece of cardstock and do the same thing again with the white pearl metallics over a lighter blue of cardstock. And I just wanted to show you the difference between those two. I think it's really, really pretty no matter if you're using it on light colored cardstock or dark colored cardstock. It's just a really pretty white sheen. I am going to use the Pixie Spray again now because I've used it several times and it was losing its tack a little bit, so I just resprayed it a little bit and I'm applying it this time to white cardstock. This time I'm going to use the Decofoil Transfer Gel. This is great for either applying foil or flock. This time I'm going to use foil and I'll show you how that works. So you're just going to apply it just like you would the Metallics Gel and then set it aside to dry. When it's clear, you know it's dry. Okay, I've got some Distress Oxides in Abandoned Coral and Ripe Persimmon, and I'm going to use the Misty from My Sweet Petunia to do some multicolor stamping. This is one of my favorite techniques to use the Misty for because it's really hard to reline up that stamp with a block. So if you have the Misty and the stamp is staying in exactly the same place, you can have a lot of fun with inking up your stamp with multiple colors. And I love the way the coral and then that orange from the persimmon look together. It's hard to tell in camera, but in real life you can see the difference between those two colors. I'll do this again uh, with some other colors. I have squeezed lemonade here. This time I'm inking the entire stamp with the squeezed lemonade. I'm going to double stamp it to really get that bright yellow. And this time I'm just going to use a hint of the color and I'm even going to wipe away some of it just to get kind of the belly and the tail of the fish. I think that's such a fun look too. So again, this is another type of multicolor stamping that you can do with the Misty. It makes it really easy. I'm going to do this two more times so I have fish for all my cards, but I wanted to do some different color combinations. This time I am using Twisted Citron on the whole fish and then I'm using Mode Lawn just on the belly at the bottom there and I, I love the way that looks. I think it's just such a unique look. It changes the look of your stamped images so easily and so quickly. And the Misty has really changed my stamping a lot. I've tried more things like this because I know I can restamp it a bunch of times. I like that multicolor fish as well. So there's a green and blue and then the green with the darker green. Okay, now I'm going to stamp some backgrounds. This is actually a wood slice stamp, but I thought it looked good with the fish because it kind of reminded me of rippling water as well. So I have a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock. I'm stamping it at one corner and then flipping it around to get that second corner in. So it's going to be like sort of symmetrical like that, um, which I think is really fun for this background. I am going to stamp this stamp two more times and I'll show you how I do that but this is a really easy way the other thing the Misty is good for is mass producing like this so 
I never have to move the stamp and I was able to do four of my backgrounds. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want the other two stamps to go. I'm able to put the Misty right in the corner, the card right in the corner of the Misty there and get the other two stamped images on there. And that just makes, it almost looks like pattern paper because the, really a lot of that cardstock is covered up with that wood block looking uh, image. And I just love the way it looks, especially with the Distress Oxides on the colorful cardstock. Okay, now that my metallics are dry, I am going to ink over them so that they're not so white. I just wanted to add a hint of blue on top there, and I think that using the Mermaid Lagoon on the lighter blue, and then I'm using um, Blueprint Sketch on this one, and then I'm going to use Chip Sapphire on that last one there. Just a different effect, and this way the white does not look so stark on the colorful cardstock. I really like the way those scales look even with it just the white I think it's really pretty okay now I'm going to use one of the Thermoweb Gina K Design circle dies to cut out one of those metallics backgrounds and I am going to cover up the uh, transfer gel with some rainbow shattered glass foils so I'm just cutting two pieces of the shattered glass rainbow foil down to four and a quarter by five and a half just a little bit larger so I can make sure it covers that whole panel I'm going to put it inside a parchment paper sandwich and put the edge of the folded edge into my laminator which is nice and hot I'm going to set up my second one and just show you how beautiful it is when you peel and reveal that beautiful foil Okay, now I'm going to stamp some sentiments. I'm going to use the Misty for that as well. This way I can get all four sentiments stamped at the same time. And now I'm using the Cut Align from My Sweet Petunia to cut some sentiment strips. So I'm just going to use that ruler to line up exactly where I want it underneath and above the sentiment that I stamped. And then I'm using a um, knife, a craft knife, to cut those out. Okay, now I have all my fish die cut, I have my backgrounds, I have my foil and my metallics, I have my sentiments, everything is ready to go, and so I'm just going to put these four card panels together. So each one is going to have some type of either foiled or metallics background, they're going to have a stamped background, they're going to have a sentiment, and they're going to have a fish. And then I am using the Thermoweb uh, Gina K Designs foam squares and then also some tape runner here just so that some things will be flat and some things will be popped up and I liked having all of these options of colors being able to stamp two on a page and flip them around like we did with the Misty makes just lots of options for you when you're making your cards and this again gives you the ability to mass produce so in a pretty short span of time I was able to put together these four cards and I like having that option of different sentiments different looks so I made two of them vertical and two of them horizontal they're all four and a quarter by five and a half just depending on which way they're facing so for this sentiment strip, I am going to just cut the little flags in the end there by cutting in the middle and then cutting the angles towards that middle. Again, I am adhering it with some tape runner and then deciding to pop up this time the sentiment. I always like the fish popped up. I think they're just so cute and I don't want them to get lost in all those pretty backgrounds that we made. So I do like to uh, adhere them with dimensional adhesive. For this one, I actually cut the scales into sort of the shape of a heart. Um, you can just kind of see that, that shape there, and I just hand cut that. And now, again, I'm going to pop up the sentiment and the fish, and that completes that one as well. The last thing to do is just apply them to some card bases. So I have some white card bases that are five and a half by four and a quarter, and that is it. So just a couple of ways to use the metallics and the foil to create, instead of a whole background, some background elements and combining them with both the Misty and the Cuddle Line from My Sweet Petunia and some fun stamps, dies, and stencils from Picket Fence. So if you're interested in any of the products that I use today, they will, as always, be linked down below. I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a wonderful day.